Welcome to my sewing machine video. Hello! Welcome to my super tidy work zone. This is the back area. And my assistant. So I'm going to plane some wood, run it through the planer. This is really nice cherry wood that I purchased from some guy local in town. Starting to look really good. Yeah, it does make a big mess. So I'm going to chip out all the bad wood that there wasn't very much of it, but it's nice to get rid of it. It'll make a finer, a better product at the end. Woohoo! Look at this table form. Coming along, coming along. Getting the, yeah, yeah, you got this. <laughs> We're gonna cut that piece. So we got the uh, wood going into the mold, just double checking the area that we gotta fill. And then uh, do a bit of a volume check, make sure we have enough volume. And then, bada bing, bada boom. So this is going to be a resin pour table. And the idea is to do a sewing table. So this uh, sewing machine here is uh, going to go, let's, uh, from Germany, a singer leather walking foot from World War II in Germany. So what I got to do is take uh, some of these, and I'm going to do a box about the size, a little bit smaller than the size of the uh, sewing machine. And then I'm going to make, um, basically cut out the square right here so that, uh, well, so I don't have to pour resin in a spot that's going to be just a cut out hole anyway. So kind of uh, like concrete. If you were going to do a concrete form, it'd be the same kind of thing. This is such a nice song. Here's Austin, running the jigsaw. He's doing a really great job. He's been helping me a lot with this project. Yeah, so we get some packing tape and we run the packing tape on the base form. Make sure none of the resin flows underneath the wood, ideally. So I'm mixing some resin now. It's nice to have this all in the right temperature and it uh, mixes really good. It doesn't happen to you. Because where is that? You, what you call you, is part of the heaven. Or an aspect. That's not parts. It's not like a machine. And it's a little scary because 
Just running the paintbrush on all the pieces, filling in the pores of the wood. Now that's an, a very weird notion we have that processes require something outside them to control them. It never occurred to us that processes could be self-controlled. Even though we say to someone, control yourself. We always, in order to think about self-control, we split a person in two. So that there's a you separate from the self that's supposed to be controlled. Well, how can that achieve anything? How can a noun start a verb? Yet it's a fundamental superstition that that can be done. So you have this process, which is quite spontaneous, going on. We call it life. It's controlling itself. It's aware of itself. It's aware of itself through you. So it's just like that snake, you see, that is pursuing its tail. Because the snake can't see its head, like you can't. We always find, as we investigate the universe... Just being the creative with the colors and just putting in the purple. Find ever more minute paint. Make the I have a bunch of clear already in there, about a half inch. And then I'm adding a bit of color to the clear, giving it, it won't do a that. translucent kind of... Look. <laughs> add the purple, and now we add some blue. Starting to look really good, I think. You only have to understand. Next phase is to pull the uh, form apart. It sticks really hard, so it's going to be a totally exam. destructive process. You cannot take hold of it, but you can't get rid of it. And in not being able to get it, you get it. So all these trials that gurus put their students through have as their ultimate object convincing you that you can't do anything. A guru gives people exercises, A, that are difficult but can be accomplished, and B, that are impossible. You will always be hung up on the impossible ones, but the possible ones, you will feel, get a feeling of making progress. Decided so to cut the edge of the, uh, to solve the table off so I can make some coasters. And then Four inches off the end. They range things in many, many ranks and levels through which you can advance this state of consciousness, that state of consciousness, or think of the degrees of masonry, or so on. Ranks, learning things, different belts you get in judo, and all that kind of thing. You can do that. And it gives people the sorts of competing... This is the back side, the not as smooth as the top side. Because of the feeling inside, that, that is just something I'm missing. Oh, look at the colors, they look really cool. 
I added some green afterwards. See a little bit of green in there. Purple, blue, and green. And you haven't perfected the skill. There is indeed something you're missing. This is Lucy. But in this thing that we're talking about, that isn't true. So this is weeks later, so because after you waiting for the belt to arrive and get parts like these pedals, getting the drum pedals ready to go. Loosening all these guys up. I got motivated and started pulling uh, the bearings out. Yeah, so setting the motor up so I can get the bolt spacing together. And then I'll drill holes through so there. So like now. modifying the sewing machine a little bit. I have this uh, drum pedal that I want to use as the uh, sewing sewing pedal. So basically when, when you go down, the sewing machine turns on. So I got this uh, piece I need to attach somehow to the foot and then um, ran a hole through the table to go to the machine so basically it goes down that's all all it needs to do operate the the motor and then uh, getting so close that indeed is the point that we don't see what looks and therefore we think we've lost it yeah, this has a nice folding leg under the bottom, so this thing will pack flat. Well, that's the one thing we can't find. <laughs> because we have it. We are it. <laughs> but we confuse it with all these images. So I'm just trimming this aluminum piece so it can accept the bolt for the motor control kind of a rough cutout and then I slowly uh, trim it and sand it and it's starting to look pretty good now I'll bolt it on see how it works Yeah, I guess we're done. This works. We're good to go. Next uh, shot, I take pick. Uh, I start uh, mounting a light. Sewing with extra light is always nice. So there's the light all attached. Thank you for watching. That's my project.